So it's a Monday morning fitness. Roll your shoulders back and around. Set your watches to whatever you feel like. Uh, interval training, other, I tend to use other for this. And roll their shoulders back and around. If somebody's got a mute. Let me just make sure everybody's muted. Okay, thanks, Cindy. All right, but if you have any questions during the class, just go ahead and shout out. Um, feel free if I don't see the chat for any reason because my head might be looking down at you or something else. All right, big shoulder rolls forward. We're gonna take some torso rotations and just pivoting on the outside leg. Remember, if you are nursing any kind of an injury to modify, if you're not sure what that modification might be, give me a shout out. I'll be modifying some stuff today myself as well. We've got four more, three more, two more, one more set. Good, take the arms all the way up and triple tap through the center. Good, so it's three reaches through your legs in front, middle, and behind. Then the knees, lift your heart up. Good, reach through and all the way up. I'll offer you as many modifications as I can come up with. Again, and if you need more, you'll take more. One more time all the way down. We're gonna stay here, triple tap through the center, and then we're gonna hold our hands on top of our thighs, turn your toes out, and just drop your hips and rock it a little side to side. Maybe lift up through the heels. We've got some of this lateral movement going on in our class later. Not too much later. So we'll warm up this way. Then bring your hands on top of your thighs, round your back, pull your belly in. Arch your back, broaden your collarbones, and stick your tushy out. Round your back, pull it all the way in, tuck that tailbone underneath you. Extend your spine. Good, one more time, round your back. Extend your spine. Now bend your right knee and stretch over to the right side into a nice deep lunge. If you can, lift the left toes up, hold it here, Stick your hips back. Some of you can go really deep and low into this. That's great. Do what you can do. Pivot around to the right side. Left hand down on the floor, right arm open for a twist. Just stretch, pull the hips towards each other. And then release the right hand to the floor, or whatever's in front of you. I'm just gonna hold on here and straighten your front leg. Pull that right hip back. Lift the right toes up. And then re-bend that front knee. Come back around to the front. Hold it one more time, chest up, and switch to the other side. Bend that left knee. Head up, chest up. Good, pivot around to the left side, right arm down, left arm opens up for a twist. Left arm down, left leg straightens. Maybe the toes come up, maybe your knee is bent like mine because your hamstrings are really tight. Pull the hips towards each other. And then re-bend your front knee. Turn back to face the front and hold that stretch. Good, come back to center, bend both knees again, round your back and roll all the way up to standing. Roll your shoulders back and around. All right, so we've got 10 reps going on for today. Take one weight, moderate to heavy weight. I'm gonna start out a little bit lighter so I'm still nursing an injury. And we're going to step wide into a wide stretch, a wide straddle, just like we came out of. As I said, we were gonna go back into this. We're gonna take one weight in the hand. We're gonna stretch the right side. And when we come up, we're gonna to switch to the other hand and other leg, all right? So we're just doing a little bit of a, a changing of hands while we're lunging. There's 10 sets of that. If you're not doing, where's Deb? If you're not doing the lunges fully, just I want you to just take this hand to hand. You can actually almost toss it and use a little bit of that power there, okay? So, and if you want to do something else, that's cool. All right, so feet are set apart. We're going to start here. We've got 10 sets. We start on the right side in three, two, one hand holds the weight. So lunge right, come up, lunge left, one. This is two. So we're doing, Sam, one person, one, one, two, one, two. This is three, four. So I'm rising up, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and last set here, 10, and 10. Good, come back to center, easy peasy. Step your left foot forward, stagger your stance. It's not too, not too far, not too close. Right hand's gonna hold the weight. We're gonna come down for a staggered, like a deadlift, and then come up and row, option. 
stay down in the deadlift and just row. All right, but I, we're gonna do a little bit of hip hinging. Hips and shoulders are squared. Front knee is not locked, it's soft. Right hand holds weight, three, 10 on the right, two, go. Down, row. Two, abs are tight. Really secure your, like your own body's corset. Three, down, four, hold it. Five more, five. So you've got that front leg working. You've got the hip hinge, four, three. If you can, keep the opposite hand off your body. But if you need the support, please do. Two more. One more. And you guessed it, we're gonna do the other side. One side may be tighter than the other, hamstring-wise, back-wise, hips-wise, shoulder-wise. All right, so get yourself so you're not on a um, tightrope, that you're more in train tracks, the hips are in line with each other. Left hand holds weight in three, two, and one. Go down and row. Pull back with your arms. Down, two. These are not the only rows we're gonna be doing today, just so you know. Three, four, and back. Five, stay controlled here. Six, pull back. Seven, pull back. Oh, did I mention eight? And yeah, we're gonna do 500 crunches today. I think I forgot to mention that. Yeah, one more. 10, good. So since I didn't mention that, let's do the first 50. Take your mats. Your crunches can be anything. They can be feet on the floor, legs in the air. Good, I knew I forgot to mention something to you guys. All right. But I guess, I think we're all gonna make it through. Do I have my mat on the right side? No, I don't. This is a great mat, guys. I don't get money for telling you about it. But you know, my favorite yoga mat, V mat, makes now a fitness mat. It's 10 millimeters thick, um, as compared to your probably four millimeters in your yoga mat. On your backs, hands behind your head. If you want to do this on a stability ball, feel free. If you want to put your ball, your little mini balls anywhere, that's fine. We're going to go on my count. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Keep looking at your knees. Four, five, six. Do not pull your head down. Eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three. Tilt your pelvis, five. Do not move your neck, eight, nine, 20. As high as you can come up, that's safe for your body, your neck, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. 50. Hug your knees in. If you like to take like I do sometimes a little spinal twist and then come on back up. And just like that, 50 down, 450 more to go. Oh my gosh, are we gonna be here all day or what? All right, I'm just gonna move that back. Back to the first set. Your lunge with the changing hands. All right, the weighted lunge, stepping out first to your right side. So everybody get that weight again. Get ready to start. We're gonna step out to the right side, keeping it wide in three, two, go. One, switch, two, two, three, good. Four, abs and tight. Five, halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Easy. All right. Stagger your stance. Now, if you don't want to do a long stance like this, and you want to keep one heel off the floor and do it this way, that's okay too. I'll demonstrate that way for this second set. And you can go back to the original wider staggered stance. 
all right? But the right arm's got the weight. The right leg is in back or on the ball of the foot. Other hand off your body. Three, two, go. 10, with a row. Nine. Other options are balancing your leg off the floor. Seven. Six. Five. So it's not a squat, remember it's a deadlift. Eight, uh, five, four, three, two, good. One more, other side. So either you've got your feet staggered, why, uh, not too wide, or you're on the ball of the left foot with very little weight. In fact, you could be balancing with the foot off the floor. Three, two, left arm row. One, two. So you can have the balance three, four, options always, five, you don't even have to touch down, you can stay up the whole time, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Awesome job guys, on the floor, 55-0, crunches, your way. Feet up, feet down. We got a bunch of them, so you can change each time, right? Hands behind the head, elbows out. Make sure you have space between your chin and your collarbone for your fist, so that you're not crunching down too much and you're not hyperextending, okay? So just that fist between the chin and collarbone. Let's go. One, two, three. Pull up your pelvic floor muscles. Five, six. Pull the belly of your spine. Eight. Nine, so you've got that pelvic tilt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, Two, hang on guys, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now you need your mat for the next exercise. All right, so have it behind you. I'm going to change the position of my mat. All right, so the first time we do this set will be different than the second time we do this set. Having said that, the first exercise is a squat two weights to a hammer curl to an overhead press. Very simple. Squat, hammer, overhead press. So let's start with that. Ten reps. Full range of motion. If you're not squatting, you're just going to go to the, maybe you'll do a, a calf raise and do your hammers to your overhead press, all right? If you want to do one arm at a time for the overhead presses, that's okay too. All right, we've got three, two, let's go, one. Squat, hammer, one press, good. Two, hammer, three, Four, get your hips down. Five, drive through your heels. Good, guys. Six, if you're gonna lean in that overhead press, lean forward. Seven, not back. Eight, two more. Nine, one more. Ten, good, now. Going backwards on the mat, so stand at the front of your mat. I promise me you won't hate me, okay? So we're going to squat to get down to a plank. So I want you to squat down, put the weights down, and step, step to a plank. Are you with me? One row, one row, one push up, walk back up, and you're up again. Did you practice that? So, you come in and out of the squat, stepping backwards on your mat, doing two renegade rows, one on each side, 
on your knees for a push-up or regular straight leg push-up and then you come back up if you choose to make it a burpee and jump forward and back that's fine um, I offer it up but I'm not doing it today so everybody get those weights you just came out of your overhead press squat to the floor step step back hands on the weights separate your legs one row one row one push up and walk or step forward come back up two step step row row push up step up again now I'm stepping wide so that I don't have to change it when I come back again onto the mat three three push up your knees can be down for the push-ups either leg can step forward or back I like to alternate this is four step step row row push up step up now you can just modify anywhere you need to this is five step step up up push up step step good six hang in there guys you can also be on your knees for the entire floor work and a push up yeah seven you can be on your knees just for the push up eight well, I had no idea this would be so much fun two more nine one row one row one push up go Michelle walk or jump up last one guys I want to see more of you squat down jump or step back row 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 your boat one push up and then step forward but don't come up to standing get on your back guess what you have 50 crunches yeah on your back remember fist between your chin and collarbone get ready in three two let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty two three two three four five six seven eight nine thirty one two three four five six seven eight nine forty ten nine eight seven six five four three two one maybe you're starting to feel those by now but then again maybe you're not okay now remember I said the second time we do this we we're gonna do it a little bit differently so by that I mean we're gonna combine the first two moves all together so you're gonna squat hammer shoulder press squat step step row row push up and come back up so it's one long compound complex movement all right grab your weights all right grab a, grab a sip of water too if you choose to not go to the floor for the renegade rows just do a regular row and if you want to do a push-up even on a tabletop or a chair that's fine you know you can always modify the height of it the higher the height for a push-up the easier it's going to be that's not bad it's just a simple fact okay so pick up your weights keep your feet at least hips width apart ready to go in three two let's go so it's a squat hammer press squat step step row row push up walk or jump up now you're right back into that squat hammer I'm gonna keep my legs wide for this bring it down walk or jump back 
row, row, push up, come back up. Hammer, up, I didn't do the squat, so don't follow that. Step down, row, row, push up, and back up. Squat, hammer, press. When we hammer, we go right to our shoulder press. Step back, row, row, push up. That was four. Hammer, up. So kind of the squatting is like a transition. Row, row, push up, back up. Good, you can go on your own, you got five more. Let me see you. Step back, one row, one row, one push up. The wider your legs are on those rows, guys, that's why I kept my legs wide, the easier it will be for you not to wobble. All right, so squat, hammer, press. Step back, step back, row, row, push up, walk or jump up, squat, hammer, press. I seem to say we have, this is our three out of three more. Squat, hammer, press, step back, row, row, squat, hammer, one more. When you're done, stay here, row, row, push up, on your back. How's your heart rate feeling? Did we have one more? Gosh, I definitely don't want to jip you out of that. So feel free to do the next one and meet me on the mat for your crunches. All right? Let me see everybody down. All right, hands behind the head. Fist or tennis ball or an apple, orange, between your chin and collarbones. No, sir, I'm not talking. All right, punches, 50, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Don't leave me. Ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last ten, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Quick little stretch if you want. You're gonna come up, and you're gonna go to lighter weights. Lighter weights, okay? Maybe five pounds even. Three pounds if you're using five pounds as your heavy weight. All right, come on up with me. Don't break, guys. Uh, I'm gonna move my, my mat this way again. All right, so I think we've done 200 crunches. It's a piece of cake, you're almost halfway through. All right, the next exercise, three exercises in one. Yay, hey. So, you're gonna be doing a side raise, a diagonal raise, and a front raise. So, let me show you. Side side is, is full reach of your arms. Diagonal is between here and here, so it's just to the corner, and then you're in front. So, side, diagonal, front. If you need to use one arm at a time, that's okay. Pick up your, weight, your weights. I, I say light weights. It's up to you. We have 10 sets of three different exercises. In three, two, let's go. Side raise, diagonal, front, that's one. Side, diagonal, that's two. If you feel tension in your neck, drop your chin to your collarbones, to your chest. Two, three. Side, diagonal, four, side, diagonal, front, five, good. Side, 
diagonal. Six, side, diagonal. Seven, side, diagonal. Eight, yeah? Side, diagonal. Nine, one more. Side, diagonal. Front, put the weights down. Guess what? Crunches. Aren't we having fun on Monday morning? Monday morning crunches, it's crunch time every Monday morning, right? So let's just make it fit into our schedule today. All right, legs up or down. I'm ready to start putting some legs in the air here. Keep your chin off your collarbones in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. See, if you take it in little steps, 500 sit-ups, crunches, sounds like a whole lot. But when you do it in rounds of 50, it becomes doable. Just like running a marathon, you don't just go out and run 26.2 miles the first day, you build up to it and then suddenly it becomes very bearable. All right, we've got a second set of those shoulders. Um, so now, remember, light weights are good for this particular set. Let's start it with the front raise, move to the diagonal, move to the side raise. So we're just backing the order. In three, two, bend a little from your hips. One, go. Front raise, diagonal, side, that's one. Front, diagonal. Two, front, diagonal. Three, front, diagonal. Four, front, diagonal. Good, don't go hard in your shoulders. Side, five, front, diagonal. Six, front, diagonal. Seven, Front, diagonal, eight, come on, two more. Front, diagonal, that's nine. One more. Front, diagonal, that's ten. Put those weights down. I think we're going to use them maybe soon. Um, bring them oops, down by your side and come back down to the floor. That weight doesn't want to stay. Okay, here we go. 50, five, zero crunches in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And just like that, we're over the hump. We've done more on the way up now than we need to finish on the way down. Well, we've got another standing exercise, so come on back up. I just have to do a little hair and makeup. Right? All right, come on back up. Light or heavier weights, you're going to choose. The action is bicep, tricep, or tricep, bicep. So we're going to do one kick back, stand up, curl. All right, that's the work. Just um, 10 of those, and then we have another bicep. All right, feet apart, bend the knees. 
Elbows in, kick your hips back, three, two, let's go. Kick back, one, curl, two, curl. So on your curl, stand up, three, up, four, up, five, breathe, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, good. Now, I'm gonna go to my light weights one more time. I'm gonna do a T curl. My arms are gonna be outstretched like a T. I could probably go heavier. I'm just keeping myself lighter today. Um, still nursing injuries, right? So listen to your bodies. All right, arms out like a T, light weights. Curl to your shoulders in three, two, just 10 of these. Go 10, nine, eight. Again, lean a little bit forward, seven, six, five, so your back doesn't take the brunt of this. Four, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, bring it in, bring it down, and guess what? Back on the floor. Not so bad. 50 crunches. Legs up, legs down. You can have your legs straight up. Maybe that's where you want to go now. In three, two, go, crunch. If you want to make this more challenging um, with your legs straight up, bring them a little bit forward in front of you. Eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. If you want to make it even more challenging and I'm not going to do it, drop your legs even lower. Six, seven, eight, nine, just a little for me. Twenty, thirty, one. Two, three, four. Brace your abdominals. Seven, eight, nine, forty. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug it in. Whew. All right. I love me a good spinal twist after crunching. All right, we're back up. Last set of tricep bicep. Well, this way anyway, right? Okay. Kick back to a curl. When you kick back, you lean forward. When you curl, you stand up. All right, there's some tumult going on in my house, so if I get a little distracted, I apologize. All right, bend the knees, elbows in. Three, two, let's go. Kick back, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good, put those weights down. You might as well put them near your mat because you're going to use them again. Oh, I might go heavier. All right, T curls, arms up, shoulder height. Ready? In three, two, bang, bang, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bang, bang, nine, ten, bring it down. All right, you might keep those nearby because I'm doing something special on the floor with that as well. Grab your water, grab your towels, grab your weights, um, heavier weights if you need to go heavier some chest work, which we will be doing shortly. All right? So I'm just going to bring everything over here. Come on to your backs. We have a set of, do we just do 50? Can somebody tell me, did we just do crunches or not? We didn't do our next set of crunches, did we? So guess what? Tell me. Dan, did we do them? I know you won't lie to me. We're going to do 50 crunches on your back. Take your weights with you. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie, because we ate too many cookies, we have to do more crunches, she said. All right, legs up in the air. <laughs> All right, hands behind your head. Any Debbie in a storm. All right, pull your belly into your spine, ribs toward your hips, legs up or bent or on the floor. If they're up and you want to bring them out a little further, that's going to create a little bit more stress on your back, but it's also going to create 
a little more tension. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. You can change this. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four. So you can do anything with those crunches. Seven, eight, nine, thirty. Go one, two, three, four. You'll be here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last ten. Go ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, I'm just showing you options. Four, three, two, one. I wanted to start the first couple hundred <laughs> as regular crunches, right? So now that we're into the home stretch, we can play around with it a little bit more. Okay, on your back for skull crushers to a close grip chest press. So you can be in a bridge keeping your hips off the floor or you can be on the floor with your legs down, up, or just like we kind of just did. You've got skull crushers, so two weights together to your forehead or to your shoulders, you choose, you choose, and then bring it down to the center of your chest and push up. So one is one, all right? From there, I'll just explain to you what we're doing after that. So on your backs, two weights, 10 reps, your choice. I always like to have my legs up so it imprints my spine. In three, two, one. So I've got a skull crusher to a close grip chest press like a chaturanga arm, two, Belly in, ribs in. Three. Four. Five. Six. Pull that belly in. Seven. Eight. Hang in, two more. Nine. And ten. Good, bring yourself up to sitting. Bring your weights down by your side. You might want to lighten them up. Sit up nice and tall. Let me get some water, my mouth is really dry, talking a lot. Sit up tall, then maybe slight lean back. Arms are gonna hold the weights, we're gonna do bicep curls, just 10 of them. Alternate if you need to. Palms up, three, you can make them hammers, two, go, one, Two, you could also do this kneeling or standing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put your weights down. You know where this is going on your back. 50 crunches. Hands behind the head. <laughs> okay. Am I in the way? Told you there was tumult going on in the house. Okay, 50 crunches any which way you want. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. You never know what's gonna happen on live TV, huh? Eight, nine, 10. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. 30. I'm just playing with the options here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last ten. We go for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and stop. Ah, uh, all right. Wow. We're almost there, guys. Hang on. Hang on, hang in, get strong. Today's what? Today's sore is tomorrow's strong. All right, on your back. Triceps, skull crushes to chest press, close grip. Legs up in three or down. Three, two, one, go. One, pull it down. Two, check out your ribs. Don't let them pooch out. Three. I see some beautiful ceilings and some beautiful skies. I don't see a whole lot of people. Four, five, so when we're done with this, just adjust your cameras. Six, the rest of this is on the floor. Seven, eight, nine, one more, 
10, and come on up. All right, so maybe some of you could adjust your camera so I could see you. Sin, thank you. Joe, now we're getting there. Randy, adjust your camera. Karen, I think I can see you. Okay, Michelle, I can see you. All right, sit up nice and tall. Thank you, guys. The sky is beautiful, and so are you, but I'd like to see you. Sit up nice and tall, bicep curls, sit up. Then slightly back, curl for 10. Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, don't swing your back, two, one more, and one. Oh, awesome. You know what's next. We have 150 crunches remaining. I mean, you can't stop now. On your back, however you choose to do this. You could also do a straight leg crunch here. Why don't we try that today for some of us? Everybody ready in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three. If I'm in my straight leg, I'm really flexing my feet. I'm really extending, uh, lifting my quadriceps. Eight, nine, 10. Not lifting my legs. I'm lifting my quadriceps by pulling my knees up, or I'm strengthening my quadriceps by pulling my knees up towards my hips. Seven, eight, nine, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Last 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, hang in, 6, 5, don't stop, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh, good job, guys, our final set, aw, sorry, not sorry, all right, we have a hip bridge with a chest press, so listen, you're going to do your traditional chest press, you can continue to do your hip bridge, we're doing five hip bridge, uh, five chest presses, five flies, five pullovers. So it is up to you if you want to go up and down with the hip bridge or hold it steady. When we get to the um, pullover punches, I mean pullover crunches, so that's 15 reps of chest, okay? Five, five, and five. Heavy weights would be awesome. Grab those. Come down onto your back, arms up, hips up, all right, turn them, I'm sorry, palms are facing away from you. Five chest presses in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, I'm going to hold my hips up and do my flies, open five, four, don't let your hips drop, three, Two, I'm still gonna keep my hips up, or one, pullovers. Here's another option to do a crunch. Oh, but it doesn't count as part of your 500. It's only five, three, four, and five. That's it. Now, you can stick with a heavy weight. I don't recommend it. Maybe a moderate weight, but um, a lighter weight. We're going on the back. We're doing scapular punches. So your arms are up. Just, I, I hope you can see me. All we're gonna do is punch the arm up and down, up and down. So we're not bending the arms, we're not going anywhere else, we're just lifting the shoulder blade off the floor and a great, great shoulder strengthener, a good little rehab exercise. Um, scapula punches, both arms together. That's why I think a lighter weight might be best for us. All right, so first push your shoulder blades to the floor so you know what we're working on. So push down your shoulders, and then lift your shoulder blades, only your shoulder blades up and down. Low for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put the weights down. Last set. No, second to last set of crunches, regular crunches. Tilt your pelvis in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six is another option. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, twenty more, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. I'm just giving you a whole bunch of exercises. Four, three, two, and one. Options, options, options. Right? Love the options. Modifications or amplifications. You do what you need to do. Last set. We have that chest press, fly, pull over, and the scapular punches. 50 crunches and you're done. You're home free. You've got 500 crunches. I believe that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Um, oh, I left something out of, of earlier, but that's okay. We did, we did crunches instead. All right, on your back. So actually it's more than 500 because I added some of these. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, three hundred. There's only 600, we did, okay? We just um, gave you a boost to your week. On your back, hip bridge, arms up, hips up to start. In three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, hold up on five. Turn your palms, five, open. Now you choose if you want to continue going up and down, two, or just work on holding the butt. Three, four, and five. Now you do those pullovers. You can stay where you are. You can add your bridge. Or maybe you want to come down and just do a double knee crunch. Three, four, one more, five. Good. Put your weights down. Get your lighter weights for your scapular punches. Arms up, knees bent, tilt your pelvis. Now push your shoulder blades into the floor. So it's like you're putting the top of your shoulder onto the floor. And that's all you're lifting up is the top of that shoulder, the upper back, upper part of your shoulder. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one more. Ten. Good. Weights down. Last set. Tilt your pelvis. Arms out. Chin off your collarbones. In three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four. You're halfway through. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Count down twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three and one and done. Ah. Hug your knees all the way up to your chest. You guys did that. So I even gave you more. Don't go anywhere. I gave you even more crunches. Hug your knees into your chest. Let me just get some different music for you guys here. Here we go. All right. Pull your knees all the way into your chest. Take your arms out to the side and let your knees fall to the right side. Good, nice stretch for the chest, the shoulders, the hips, the back. And then gently bring your knees back to the center to the other side. Come back on your back. Bring your knees back to your chest. Hug them nice and close.
And then rock and roll on your spine. Come all the way onto your belly. You need this stretch today. Start with a low cobra. So bring your legs um, as wide as your mat if you'd like. Hands down by your rib cage. Elbows squeeze in. Lift your chest up. Pull your shoulders back. And if you have a little bit more, maybe a little bit more stretch to the front of that body because you did 600 crunches. You might have done 610 if you did those pullovers. Push back to your heels, stretch. Keep your hips up in the air. Bring your chest down to the floor. Now just hinge forward and come into like a variation of an up dog with your thighs on the floor. A little bit more stretch to the front of the body. And then go back to your heels, child's pose. One more time, come forward, arch your back. This gets the last 300 of the 600. And then pull back to your child's pose. Hips on your heels, walk your hands right, stretch left arm on top of the leg. Other side. Keep your arms as they are, roll up slowly. Take your time, bend your knees. Stretch the arms up and around now. Take a big breath in, bring your arms all the way up. Lean over to one side. Back up and over to the other side. Back up to center, grab a hold of your elbows. Pull your shoulders back and down. Arms come all the way up. Roll the shoulders back and around. Take a big breath all the way up. You guys are done. If you're at home, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.